Hey, I'm Rue Campbell, a Microsoft MVP and Security Architect at Threadscape. Clearly, one of the advantages Microsoft has in endpoint protection is their massive telemetry data set. I mean, they own the platform almost all enterprises use, Windows. One of the cool things we can leverage with this in Defender for Endpoint is called Block at First Sight. If a downloaded executable is run, and that includes things like macros, but Defender has never seen it before in its massive telemetry data set, Defender can lock the file, upload it to their cloud for analysis, and then decide if it's safe to run or not. This is very useful in environments without application control, or even if you have application control, this adds an additional layer of protection. So, let's check out a demo. Block at first sight can be configured in several ways. We're going to do it using Intune via Microsoft Endpoint Manager. We go to Endpoint Security, we go to Antivirus, and from here we're going to configure the Microsoft Defender Antivirus client settings. We're looking for cloud protection, and these three settings are going to work together to enable Block at First Sight. We need to make sure that cloud delivered protection is enabled. We need to ensure that the level of cloud delivered protection is higher than the default, so I've chosen high. This roughly translates to the threshold at which potential malware is identified as malware. And we also need to enable a reasonable cloud extended timeout duration. The maximum is one minute, 10 seconds of which are already controlled by Defender. So I specified the maximum here of 50. I'm now on a PC without Block at First Sight. We can confirm Block at First Sight isn't enabled by running some PowerShell, which shows us the three values of those Intune settings. I'm going to download a freshly generated executable test file. I'll just use PowerShell. And as I execute that file, we can actually see, yes, the executable file, which is brand new, Defender Telemetry has never seen before, it's actually allowed to run successfully. I've now jumped to a PC that does have Block at First Sight enabled. Once again, I can confirm Block at First Sight settings by running PowerShell, and we can see the settings configured in Intune are applying to this endpoint. Again, I'll download a brand new telemetry, never seen before, executable file. We'll run that. We'll execute it. And instantly, block at first sight, because it hasn't seen this file before, but within milliseconds has identified it's potentially dangerous, it's blocked that execution.